Hello, my name is Lisa Hoffman, and I'm going to be describing how I completed the first stage of the learner growth activity for my learner growth report. I chose to assess a kindergarten female student from my kindergarten classroom, and I will be referring to the student as AL. I decided to give AL the quick phonics screener, um, that's also known as the QPS. And I also assessed her with the Words Their Way Primary Spelling Inventory. Although I did not give the KELPA exam, I still followed the same guidelines suggested in the KELPA manual. The assessments were given to AL in a quiet room with nothing on the walls. And she was also alone one-on-one -on -one with me as I was giving the assessment. Um, while giving the assessment, I used the script that was given to me for the assessment and only said what was on the script. I first began with the QPS, and the QPS is a phonics assessment that starts with assessing the students on letter names and letter sounds, and it gets more difficult the further you move along in the assessment. During the QPS assessment, I found that the student recognizes all letters and can produce all of their sounds. AL was, however, not able to progress further in the assessment because she was unable to read CVC words, um, which is the next part of the QPS assessment. Um, so this was making it difficult for her, so I chose to discontinue the test since she was un unable to read those words. Uh, the next assessment that I gave AL was uh, the Words Their Way Primary Spelling Inventory. And during the Primary Spelling Inventory, they are asked to spell CVC words and words with long vowel sounds. Um, and so when I gave this assessment, I found that she was not able to spell CVC words or words with long vowel sounds. Um, she mixes up the sounds for short I and short E. And I've noticed that um, that is something that is common uh, with my students is short I and short E. They sound similar to my EL students, so spelling words with those sounds are difficult for them. Um, AL is able to produce the beginning sounds of words, so while I was giving the primary spelling inventory, she was able to write the beginning sound of each word that was um, asked of her, but to produce the middle sounds and ending sounds of the words, she was not doing that consistently. So after performing these assessments, I found that my student is in the primary proficiency level. And so my goals for her for the next four weeks is for her to know and apply grade level phonics and word analysis when decoding words. And also I am going to be working with her on being able to ask and answer questions using proper English grammar and answering in a complete sentence. I plan to monitor her writing um, and spelling by using our FastBridge progress monitoring, um, as well as pulling her daily to work on those skills. We will be working on things such as like word ladders, where she would be expected to change one letter sound in the word to make new words. Um, for example, if I gave her the word bat, and I wanted her to change the beginning sound in the word to make the new word mat. Um, that would be a skill that we would be working on as well as 
if I were to give her the word bat and wanted her to change the middle sound to say bit or bet. Um, I will also be monitoring her speaking just by using informal observations during our whole group time. Uh, we do a lot of turning and talking to our partners to where she needs to be answering and asking questions using complete sentences. And so I will be providing sentence stems for her to help her with answering those questions with a complete sentence. And so I'm hoping by the end of the four week observations that my student will be able to read and spell CVC words consistently and that she will be able to speak using complete sentences.